What's up friends, this is Mani and I found out how to play War Robots in a way that feels a little bit more like the old War Robots back in the days. Uh, with slow moving robots and so on, you can see here. Which also gives me a wonderful opportunity to take the uh, Crisis Thermite out into the battlefield and try and hit some enemies that are not running around with 100 kph all the time, right? Speed. Um, and uh, that would be the test server where there are no pilots. And the crazy thing is, right, and that just shows you how crazy things have gone <laughs> in War Robots, is that this, the only thing that's not active on the test server is pilots. Drones are there, battleships are there, and so on, right? And the latest robots and all that. But the pilots are not there. And look how slow everything is! Can you see what a difference just the pilots make? And it's not just the walking speed that changes the game, makes it a little more slow and more tactical, that allows you to plan your moves a little better with people not speed hacking through the map all over the place, right? Not just that, but also the other crazy things that pilots bring. A second ability activation for an Okokochi at 50% for free, right? It's not there. Um, plus 30% durability, plus 30% resistance uh, uh, when you are uh, uh, at low health and whatever, like crazy insane it just shows me and visualizes how immense what an immense amount of power just the pilot's feature itself adds to you it just makes you t twice as powerful only the pilots and then on top of that comes the drones the battleships the titans and so on right the modules the right most powerful passive module setups and active modules with unlimited power cells Add all of this together and you end up with something that is literally 400% more powerful than just the robot itself would be with that particular setup of weapons. Um, and that is just, uh, that is just crazy. I I'm just looking at the game without pilots only and I feel like this is an entirely different game. And to me, way more fun, honestly. Because people, are, look, people are walking around relatively slow now. You can anticipate where is what move, what what options do they have? Can they appear right next to you a second later? No, they can't because they have to physically walk there and that just takes a little while. They have to cross open terrain. I was able to get into the teleport before he activate got me with his ability here because I could already see it coming what is what he's going to be doing next, right? And he, even though I mean he really takes my only chance here. Boom. And he face shifts through my bomb. I I baited his ability, I waited it out, he was locked and stationary, and I hit him with a 300k one hit, and he just presses the button and basically disables my chance of, <laughs> of, ch of winning. I don't have a chance against this Okokochi. The only chance that I had was hitting that one really well-placed shot, and I did everything right to that end, but he just pressed the button. Active module, another thing, right? A layer, a layer of power that Provide, that prevents an instant kill that was perfectly planned and meticulously initiated with a long plan before that all ends up to this one moment. Face shift. Boom. <laughs> it's just an active module. It, it, it just... I don't know. I, I'm guessing I'm... Woohoo! Bye! Uh, <laughs> one hit kill, man. I love one hit kills with Crisis Thermite, by the way. Um, but... Uh, I guess I'm a little bit nostal feeling nostalgic when just seeing me walking this slow. It, all the time on the test server it feels sluggish because it really is a sl it was a slower game back then. And I feel like it was more interesting to be slower, right? Has it, like if you think about it, has, this, has the game improved for you because we are all running around way faster, we have passive healing on our robots, we have a second ability at 50% or a full additional ability charge, not even looking at the legendary pilots and what crazy abilities they provide with quantum radar throughout the entire flight or, or, or stuff like this, right? Um, has the game improved because this was all added to the game? Or was it maybe more interesting when things were a little more slower and, and you could plan things better, you could anticipate people's uh, actions, you knew that there wasn't going to be a second no-skill ability coming out of nowhere that prevents uh, you from act engaging the enemy successfully um, and so on. To me, this has all taken fun out of the game. 
and I'm feeling a little nostalgic seeing this here and it just reminds me that the game had a much much more fun time to it and for those wondering like all right why would Pixonic do that why would they add something to the game that is detrimental to its well-being if you will right uh, or, or let's assume that I'm not the only one feeling this way which I am I know I'm not um why would they do this you might ask right the, the reason is it's a business and as such they will obviously always try and make and create an incentive for people to spend money on it um but the, the big reason is that there are the, the game lives from those who spend the higher amounts of money right it's the, the big spenders basically the whales how they're also called in many uh, uh from by many people and they live off those nine those ten percent maybe five ten percent whatever who spend a lot the thing is though every time it happens after a while that they have reached most of what is available to be purchased so they have received and purchased all most of the power that you can get in the game and sure they can add a new robot they can add a new drone and that creates them a, a little bit of an extra sale uh but it doesn't really get it rolling again boom bye dude <laughs> one hit kill against the ultimate outshone up there um, and whenever it happens that all the, the, the majority of the big spenders have basically reached what was achievable in the game, Pixonic needs, creates a new layer of power entirely. Something completely new that, that incentivizes people to, to start from scratch, right? A fully new feature like drones coming into the game with microchips that can be sold separately and providing incredible bonuses to your power. Um, or pilots as a feature and you can see the effect right here how much they change how much power they provide making you literally two times as powerful uh, or more even um, depending on what pilots you use uh, and, and, and the next is the battleships right with the turrets that can be sold and distributed separately um, and uh, another one hit there Woo! boom yeah so and this is the reason why these features are being added to the game from time to time every year or every yeah something like this a new full layer comes into the game um, for that reason now that is however in my opinion in most of the most of the time to the detriment of the game's health um, not every time though I for for example I love Titans I think Titans are an awesome addition to the game because they fit into the game in my opinion they are robots in a robot fighting game they're just big robots and you have to earn them right they're like you it's basically they're like your ultimate ability you earn it you play your robots and then eventually you get to unlock your freaking ultimate and you ram it in the enemy team um and and that that really is an awesome feature in my opinion it fits well into the game so while titans have been the same reason to be implemented they fit well for example however battleships in my opinion do not fit at all into the game because it's a robot clashing game, competitive shooter, you just want to shoot other people. And it, it, I don't want to be constantly struck away by uh, airstrikes from space where I can't even fight back. Like right now, boom. Already got hit once, here comes the next one, boom. What a perfect timing. Uh, and there comes a third shot. If I didn't have last stand, I would be dead now. Per simple button press by the enemy. That was, <laughs> by the way, a nice save that I had here against him. He opens his uh, his ball, he's vulnerable, but he has an energy shield, which I do bypass and I one hit him. <laughs> awesome. So that la last ten saved me like three times over. I felt like this is an interesting thing uh, worth sharing with you here. Um, also again, one face shift pr perfectly planned. <laughs> I was looking at him, I was planning my move, I was timing it perfectly with his landing. And he just presses the active module and there goes all my planning out the window. Um, yeah, but uh, I, I felt like I wanted to share this with you because it's an uh, interesting aspect that I discovered here while trying to record some Thermite uh, Crisis gameplay without pilots. Uh, and by the way, in case you ever don't have that, please enable it. Uh, the manual targeting system. I uh, I basically, I was trying to, sh to plan my shots with the crisis here, but I didn't have that activated at first. So my targeting system would constantly swap between targets and, uh, and I could not have really the control to lock someone tight and say, this is the target that I want to aim at and, uh, and, and eyeball now and be ready to shoot at him. 
So always activate the manual targeting system, especially with weapons like thermites. It is unplayable without it, literally. So in the bottom right, you see, no, you, okay, I, I moved myself away. Uh, now you can see this button there in the middle under the red uh, fire button. That's the uh, manual lock button and it allows you to uh, hard lock a target and not lose it out of, out of line of sight. And it's the same button that allows you to swap between targets too. So, yeah, uh, tell me what you think about my uh, my ideas, my thoughts, and uh, I'd like to hear yours. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. Manny signing off. Bye-bye.